No, I mean, that's why it's resonating with so many people because I, there's really not ever been anything like this before. I just love all of you and I'm just, I'm just, I don't, it's, I don't know. You want me to be sober and you want me to do good. And you are doing good and you are sober and like so am I and like I'm feeling a really heavy weight. Like, and so are you. And, but we're gonna do some step work and uh, we're gonna get through this. You're not sober 15 years, so that's bullshit. She's crying to me at night. What have you done? You've gotten us into a just all the the end of the world apocalypse. I was only crying. I'm so sad for him. Do you even know why I'm traumatized? No, because all you think about is your fucking self. No fucking problem. You fuck with the wrong fucking woman. Fuck. If you want to play fucking stupid, illogical hardball? Then fuck you, bitch. You want a fucking war? We can't use our trauma to justify or selfish behavior. It's a dangerous game to play. People are like, they're like clawing at like all this fake shit. Don't you think it's weird as like a member of AA just saying, I'm, I was high, like on fucking Instagram. I just took like four of these CBD drops because I just want to feel something. I just want to feel different. I just want to feel high. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm changing sponsors. Yeah, but your sponsor, Microdosing Mushrooms, is a relapse. This is the kind of guy you don't want to have around. The guy that's, when the, when the going gets tough, he goes, where's the door? I think he's bipolar. I don't know if he's like taking medicine or not. Now we're talking about like the real shit. 